Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. The PlayStation 4 out. We're waiting for the Xbox One. A good sales for PlayStation, uh, but they're losing like $60 a console that they're selling. So is this a winner or a loser for Sony? Well, for me, it's a winner. Okay. Uh, for Sony, it's a winner. For you, the consumer, you might be losing your boyfriend for a couple <laughs> weeks, months here, uh, of which it's always a good sign of break off the engagement if your boyfriend's more into the PlayStation 4 launch than you. Um, you know what's interesting about that? You said they're losing X amount of dollars per box. That's called a loss leader, okay. and it always happens. Uh, they make their money off licensing software or licensing technology that other software developers like Activision and Electronic Arts will make for the uh, console. What's interesting this time around is consoles used to be the rage, but now tablets and phones have kind of eaten into their market. So a million units sold is nice. It's not you know, jump up and down with joy. I think GameStop is a play here. I think Best Buy is a play off the success of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox this holiday season. The consumer continues to spend. Uh, but again, it's watch out for those consoles because they're slowly eating away at credibility of the consoles. Interesting. And what do you think? Is it going to have a supply problem? I mean, we're waiting to see if there's going to be enough supply for the holiday season for them. Amazon sold out. They are. So, okay. um, Sell it on eBay. If you got one, sell it on eBay. <laughs> Take the quick cash and buy it next year. On to the holidays and holiday shopping, and uh, we're getting some stores from Google this holiday season. Great Google and Moogle, right? <laughs> yes. um, I don't know if there's a story here other than Apple does it, Microsoft does it, Samsung's doing it. Sometimes there's stores inside of stores like Best Buy, but Google's going to announce their own physical retail stores for the holiday. Uh, they're not going to get carried away. It's called Winter Wonderland, Winter Wonder Labs. And one of the cool things is there's going to be a big size uh, snow globe in it and you can go in and get a shot of yourself in a snow globe with fake snow wow. so it, it's it's kitsch that I say that it's shtick uh, but again it, it, with so much money going into the uh, tablets and phones, you get why they're trying to do it for the holiday season. Physically touching their products is part of the deal closer. And uh, now Google's getting the game of having Google stores, only in five major cities across the United States, not, not announcing an initiative like, uh, say, Apple has. Okay. I would like to see Google buy who, um, what's the little retailer? Oh, now you can Radio Shack. Oh, I'd love yes. to see them buy Radio Shack because those are awful stores with awful product. Put the Google product in it. Interesting. Turnkey. Google, Google Shack. There you go. And maybe they'll stop asking for your zip code too. And you go Google buy doesn't something. want my opinion anyway. Okay. <laughs> Snapchat. So yeah. there are rumors of a multi-billion dollar offer for this company. Why is Snapchat so valuable? Snapchat is so valuable because my 12-year-old neighbor, and this is where it gets creepy, I go, Audrey. What are you using these days? And she goes, I use Snapchat so my parents can't trail me, can't can't follow the trail of her. So Facebook is not in with teenagers, Snapchat is. And, you know, there's kind of this angle that Snapchat's for sending dirty pictures to each other because they disappear after a set amount of time. But teens are starting to use it with their photos and uh, communicating with it, one another because there's an easy chatting feature tied towards it as well. Um, what's important is there was an online 30% of college admission agents, college admissions agents, 30% look at your online uh, trail and like you may have thought it was cute to dress up as a uh, cheerleader for a football game only to find out that you know some religious right person hates the idea of dressing up as a woman um, you may find that you hated the idea of your friend dressing up as a woman only to find out some liberal college mission agent you know loves the idea and you hated it so it, just erasing your, your history I think this is gonna be really really important going forward I hate online histories hate them hate them hate them and I think uh, snapchat is setting a trend of let's be a little more private interesting Hey, a new survey out saying that Americans don't like talking about their finances, yeah. and I, I know none of us do, but a uh, lesson to be learned here, isn't there, Rob? Yeah, and, um, you know, as baby boomers continue to age, there's an elephant in the room of, will mom and dad leave me any inheritance? What does the health care directive look like? Is there a health care directive? But 70% of people have not had, 70% uh, of people over 25 have not had a discussion with their parents about retirement. If there's one piece that I, I throw out there, Mark, is talk to your children, and your child's too young at this point in time, but talk to your parents like, what do you want done when you die? And where is all the paperwork? And get a fireproof safe and put it all in there. So Americans are, they, they're just reticent to talk to each other about financial issues. And that's a shame because when you do die, it's too late to have your wishes known at that point in time. It's, it's up to the executors and it's up to other people. So um, don't be ashamed to talk money. All right, good advice, Rob. You catch Rob Black segments of the Crown 4 Morning News and well, our afternoon newscast. And you have a question for Rob, post it on his Facebook fan page and we'll answer it on the air.